What's up everybody, welcome back to Bed Wars. Today we're going to be taking a look at this week's item rotation, which is going to be the Frostbite Arrow. It's a slowness arrow, and when you hit your enemy with it, you give them slowness for 3 seconds. So I was thinking of uh, different good ways of using this arrow, and I feel like the best one I thought of is, as you're going into a fight, hit them with the arrow, and then you can have a better chance of starting a combo. If you hit them, like, running across the map, the slowness really isn't going to do anything to them because they're not near you. Although, I am playing on orchestra, so if I'm running around middle and someone is running away from me, I could hit them with an arrow to slow them down, and that way I'll have a better chance of catching up to them. So that's another way that I could possibly use this. But these frostbite arrows that I'm going to try to buy are really expensive. So a normal arrow, you get six of them for two gold in the shop. This item, you get three of them for five gold. So you get half the arrows for double the price. So it's like it's a very expensive arrow to get. This guy is going to try to run. Man, if only I had slowness arrows right now. See ya. Never mind, I guess. See ya. Okay, it worked that time. <laughs> it's only myself and blue left in the game, so this game went by really fast. I'm going to probably get their bed here. They only have wool and they're not around, but I think they might be heading over to my base. It looks like they are. I'm not too worried about jumping into the void to save my bed. I think, I think I'll think i be alright. Because I'm going to buy a bow as well as some frostbite arrows. Again, these arrows are real expensive. I was only able to buy six. And I realize you can only buy two purchases per game. So I have my six arrows. If I use all these, I actually just cannot... Uh, get any more arrows after that. So this guy has slowness now, so I might be able to catch up to him. Let me do that again. Uh, that was a very odd fireball jump. Did he just... Okay. That's cool. That first game did not have a good showing of those arrows, so I'm going to be trying again this game. So hopefully this game goes better. The only issue is I'm not entirely sure if these arrows are actually any good at all, so I'm not sure if there's going to be any game that gives a good showing of, uh, of the slow arrows. White just completely abandoned their bed to go mid. I mean, I guess you can get a lot of resources fast when you go to mid. That's kind of an interesting play. Uh, I'll be chasing them down. No, I won't. Okay, I'm going into gray. Um, gray's not at their base, so I should have just a free bed here. I don't know if this... Oh, gray just died as well. Um, okay, time to fight. I don't know if this game's going to be a good showing either for, uh, for the slow arrows, because slumber moves very fast. So this might just be another game where it ends before I'm actually able to do anything. But I'm going to run over to blue base, I think. And I might be able to just grab the bed right here. And uh, I do have a lot of resources, so I think I'm just going to put them in my chest and jump in the void. Uh, that was probably not the right play, because blue is ink to my base. Oh, they're turning around. That's good. Uh, I don't think they realized that they probably had more gear than me at the time. Which just leaves me in yellow, which I guess is good, but also not too good because I wanted to showcase... Ouch, dude. Here, I'll, I'll throw some fireballs back. Wait. He has the high ground. Oh, that's a lot of fall damage. Oh, God. Uh, here's yellow. Again, I don't want to take them out because I need to get some slowness arrow shots in. Okay, I have enough. Um, I can buy a bow as well as three shots on my slowness arrow. Alright, now I need this guy to not go to my base. Okay, good. He's coming over to me. Here, have... Alright, what's he doing? See, I could shoot him down with this arrow, but like, any arrow can do that. I want to do something that only the slowness arrow can do. Alright, here, come down. No more building up there. And slow down. Alright, now let's go for a combo. I'm going to totally say that the slowness arrow was the reason that happened. If it wasn't for the slowness arrow, I would not have been able to do what I just did. Look, I'm, I'm grasping for straws here. Here, can you come fight me again, dude? One more time, please. Oh, wait. He was sleeping for only a second. He woke up, though. All right, here we go. Really? Can you try? Oh, oh, he, he is going to try. <laughs> he left the game. All right, we're going to say thank you, Slowness Arrow. If it wasn't for you, I would not have been able to win this game. This is so crazy. I guess we'll end this game. Good game, I guess. Yet another rough showing on the Slowness Arrow, but uh, we go next. Okay, yet another try to make use of these Slowness Arrows. I know I've been calling them Slowness Arrows when technically they're called Frostbite Arrows. Hopefully nobody is too hurt, because I just feel like Slowness Arrows make way more sense. You know? They're arrows that cause slowness. They're not arrows that cause frostbite, no way. But as per usual, the game has to start relatively normal. Uh, I need to take out a bunch of bases to eventually 
have the ability to get enough gold for these arrows because again they are real expensive i feel like double the price for half the arrows is just it's too much i know these arrows are better than regular ones but still i feel like there's just too much um i got them down to zero unfortunately i meant to say there's not enough reason to buy these over regular arrows for them to be that expensive also another thing that's just completely unnecessary i think i mentioned in the last games but just in case i didn't you can only buy two purchases per game meaning you can have six total arrows until you can't buy more. And I think that is just completely unnecessary. If someone wants to save up for a stack of slowness arrows, let them. Oh no. I was gonna go for the, uh, the fireball kill, but I guess I didn't need to. Okay, I'm actually gonna have a fight in mid. I think this is one of my first times ever fighting somebody in mid on this map. Um, I normally... Don't ever get into fights in the middle. Okay, see ya. He had 12 emeralds on him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like nobody ever comes mid on this map. And I haven't played this map very much. So both of those things combined, I think that is possibly the first time I've ever fought somebody on mid on this map. I'm gonna buy Obby. I know Obby is not worth it in solo, but I kind of just want to prolong the game uh, for as long as I can. Because again, I'm just trying to make a use case for these arrows. Okay, Obby is down and covered. I could have bought like diamond armor, potions, diamond sword, but all of that would pretty much defeat the purpose of uh, using slowness arrows. Because then I would just be able to kill them with like a sword in normal means. Okay, we have the bow. We have the two purchases of frostbite arrows. I'm now going to try to make these arrows work. The main thing that sucks is now that I have purchased all my frostbite arrows, if I end up dying, then I'm just, I'm out of frostbite arrows. I don't, I don't get frostbite arrows for the rest of the game. So then what's even the point? I guess when this guy crosses, I'm just going to shoot him off um i mean that's again something that a regular arrow could do but okay all right let me just fireball the bed defense i'm kind of expecting to get fireballed off myself um i'll just throw all this off the edge here have a fireball all right here we go frostbite arrow and fireball Okay, great. This is another great use case of frostbite arrows. I made it so he had to block himself up Again, something a normal arrow would have done just fine. Um, I don't really want to get hit off here. I feel like he might go for something crazy. Okay, here we go. We hit him with a frostbite arrow. Good. Now he's slow, and I can start a combo. Uh, is the slowness helping here? I, I feel like I'm not even noticing that he's slow. Like, I only have frostbite arrows. I don't have regular arrows. So I, there's no shot that I'm accidentally using regular arrows. That's, that's not a possibility. Because I... Oh my goodness. Here, have some fireballs. Frostbite arrow to close it out. What happened to my bow? <laughs> God, this is so dumb. I'm going to do a really quick rush on Hollow. You only need 32 blocks. And I'm going to see if maybe I can sneak over before they're ready. So last game, I used the frostbite arrows quite a bit. I got some kills. Oh, um, yeah. You need to get off the edge, actually. How did I live? How did neither of us take knockback? Doesn't matter. And got it. Oh, you have a stone sword. Doesn't matter. See ya. So to recap what happened last game, uh, we hit them with the slowness arrow at the very end there in that last fight. And I, I, maybe you guys could as viewers, I couldn't tell in the middle of that fight whether that guy had slowness or not. It really didn't seem notice noticeable at all. I know it's only slowness one, so it sh it's not that impactful, but I feel like it should do a little bit more than that. Also, the fact that it's only three seconds um, before it wears off, I feel like there's just so much, so many reasons to not use these slowness arrows. All right, I'm gonna be able to snag this bed real quick. Um, white is on the way in. I have four M's. Should I just like, I'll buy jumping invis. Wait, they're coming in. I'm going invis. Ah, yes. They have no idea where I am. They're up here somewhere. I heard the fall damage. Where are they at, though? Oh, my bed's gone. I uh, maybe he didn't hear me drink invis. I thought I was pretty obvious about it. I made the worst purchase of all time about three bridge eggs. And the way I'm going to use them is I'm going to just bridge egg out to all the diamond gens and just collect a ton of diamonds. I'll be able to get loads of gear. I, I noticed that blue and yellow are the only teams left in the game with me and uh, they're fighting. So I, I have time to just explore, collect resources. And now I'm going to drink speed so I can go fast. Plus, if I can hit this guy with a slowness arrow. Oh wait, these guys are just going to fight. Um... Yeah, I'll just let that happen. Whack him, and I guess we'll head in. It's a 1v1 now, so um, I guess I'll just shoot that guy. And he's slow, and he's gonna run back in. 
I'm gonna thank the slowness arrow for that combo. Thank you, slowness arrow. You've done wonders for me. And let's have another good fight with this guy here. Here you go. Have some slowness. And plus my speed. And I am still just not noticing <laughs> a difference. Bro, I mean, he did think I'm hacking. So maybe because of the slowness that he had, he mistook my combos for hacks. Well, we have another round of trying to make this item work. Although I don't really know if I can say that the item hasn't been working. Like, the frostbite arrows have been working. It's just they've been working the exact same as a normal arrow would work. So I guess instead I'll say another round of me trying to find a situation where these arrows work differently than regular arrows. Um, I didn't have a first rush this game, so that's pretty cool. That means I can start saving up for that uh, that bow that I want. I'm just gonna head straight into gray base. They took out their first rush first, so I kind of want to remove them from the game. Uh, I think they just fell into the void, meaning uh, they're gonna respawn with nothing. So there's a chance that I can sneak in here and snag the bed, but we'll have to see what happens. I wish I had shears right now, but I didn't. Hey man, you must have not seen me breaking your bed. Yeah, no, that fireball is just not gonna help you. Okay, see ya. Sorry for cross mapping. It's not cool. Fireball jump past. That's too bad. I hit him again. What was Aqua doing over there? Did I did I see that correctly? Why is Aqua at red base? <laughs> Fine by me. Red bed's gone. Wait, this guy's name is Broken Eighty. Is that a gamer boy reference? It might be, but I have no idea. I I just like whenever I see the number eighty, I always joke that it's a gamer boy reference because there's no way anyone would use the number 80 if it wasn't because they're referencing gamer boy really good news we can now buy a bow as well as six slowness arrows this is going to be big oh you're on the way in um well i guess we fight see ya so that slowness arrow that i shot unfortunately hit the fireball so maybe i slowed the fireball down which is pretty cool but still that wasn't a situation where the arrow acted any differently than a regular arrow okay i can send out a fireball to save my bed but will it work here we go let's see if that works i just i did a hail mary fireball i don't even know if that fireball is gonna land but let me uh see if i can get over to their base oh did it i don't know if that fireball saved my bed but he fell in the void it looks like so it did something probably. Hey man. So I I have slowness errors that I need to hit you with. So if you could just stand still. I'm not very good with a bow. So uh, if you could just so if you could just stand still so I can hit you with an arrow. Alright, we got slowness on him. Will it matter? Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> I just traded hits that whole fight. Um let me just run up here. I'd rather not die. I have two arrows. Yeah, I'm still just not noticing a difference, unfortunately. Please, man. I want to love these slowness arrows. I just, I cannot because they're just so bad. See ya. Good game. Uh, the slowness arrows, yet again, worked absolute wonders that whole game. We're back with another round. Can't wait to spend so much gold on arrows that are practically worthless. So my first rush is hiding behind their base. That's very cool. They also did the chain armor rush, it seems. Lots of interesting plays going on. I'm sure I'm sure it's going to work out though. Very good gaming, dude. This is the best. Uh I am eating a ton of fall damage. Will I still win this fight? Um judging by how he's been playing so far, yes. But then again, they did have chain armor, so I, I had to take that into consideration. Okay, I'm breaking aqua bed here. They, it looks like they're heading mid, though, so I should probably get over there before they get to my base. Kind of wish I had some slowness arrows right now. Slowness arrows would really help. Um, never mind. I was gonna have a nice fight with aqua team. They clearly didn't want that, so they just jumped off the edge. And apparently, red fell in the void. It looked like they were probably gonna start heading towards my base, but they fell off the edge and didn't have a bed, so they're out of the game. And that just leaves me and pink team, um, and pink doesn't have a bed. Because for some reason, gray disconnected from the game. Um, okay, so normally when a game is too quick or boring, or I can't like showcase the item that I'm trying to showcase. I don't include it, but I think I have to include it because this was way more unusual. Even though I didn't like do anything this whole game. Uh, yeah, that is, that's a game. That is a game. Okay, here we go. 
This will be my last try. I can't just keep going hoping that one of these games, this item's gonna work for me. Cause I feel like it's just not, it's just not gonna work for me. And maybe somebody that is good with a bow will, uh, will use it way better than I will. However, I really feel like just buy regular arrows. There's just, there's not much reason. Hello, spawn prot? Uh, yeah, there's just not much reason to, uh, not buy regular arrows. Okay, I can buy up one set of frostbite arrows as well as the bow. So I have three shots. I feel like there's not much time left in this game anyway. I did buy a couple bridge eggs, so I can, uh, bridge egg up to this diamond gen here. And where's this yellow player at? Oh, there he is. Um, I can also bridge egg over to his base. He might try to fireball. I'm watching closely, I'm watching closely. Yep, one, two, three. All right, and uh, luckily because of a bridge egg, it didn't even break the whole bridge. Oh my goodness, he had more. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, um, this is great. Really good situation here. Um, come on over. Hey, where's he going? Hold on, I'll hit him. Yep, I'm calling it. We, we really did our best. Uh, thank you to the slowness arrow. Um, I shot that guy right off the bridge, and I could have only done that with a slowness arrow. That's going to do it for this episode of Bed Wars. Hopefully you enjoyed. To summarize, the slowness arrows are 2.5 times the price of normal arrows, and you only get three as opposed to six. So for double the price, you get half the arrows. Don't buy it. Slowness one doesn't impact things that much. Yet another rotation item that is not worth even checking. But hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of Bed Wars. If you did, smash like and subscribe. Please subscribe because after my feet video, I should, probably shouldn't phrase it like that because people that haven't watched that but watched this might think that that's extremely weird. And I mean, I guess it is. But after that video, uh, I hit a record sub loss in one day. So uh, I'm on the road to 700,000 subscribers. Please, I need your help to offset it. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye.